Catch. Oh, that's a good girl. Dogs. We walk them, pet them, play with them, but most of all, we love them. That's the theme of Follow the Dog Home, a new book by sportscaster Kevin Walsh that looks at how the Walsh family has bonded over their dogs. We had to look at our dogs as something bigger than just great family pets. We looked at them as time machines, as like connectors, bridges between the different generations. The book is told through the eyes of three generations of Walshes. Kevin, his dad, Bob. It's a very important element for me, at least, to uh, have an animal. It rounds out the, 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 the family experience. And his daughter, Samantha. It's like she's always there for me if I ever feel kind of worried or if I'm really upset. The book begins as the family notices Beverly, their German shepherd, favoring a particular house on Atwood Street in Wellesley. I did some investigating. I found out that there was an elderly aunt that lives on the Cape now that lived in Wellesley years ago, and I thought it might be her house. So I called her up. I said, Aunt Jean, did you live on Atwood Street? And she said, no, we lived on Abbott Road. Your father lived on Atwood Street. And so I called Dad up, and I said, Dad, did you know you lived in Wellesley before? He never even knew. I was an infant when I, when we moved to Wellesley, and then it was, uh, I moved out when I was a toddler. You know, people want to know, does, does she have a magic nose, a miracle nose? Is it one of those things? I, I just can't say with any certainty. There are other stranger-than-fiction dog stories in the book. Case in point, when Kevin took his golden retriever, Susie, to college. And she lived with me in a fraternity house. Party like a rock star, had the run of the campus, and every day she got lost. On this particular day, he found Susie a block away. The dog had walked into a student's room. I asked him what his name was, and he said, Kevin Walsh. And I said, what's your name? And he said, Kevin Walsh. And he's looking at me like, why? And I'm like, that's my name. She found the other Kevin Walsh on a campus of 40,000 other students. Kevin Walsh says that in a world where everything is constantly changing, one thing has stood the test of time, our dogs. The idea for the book wasn't really Kevin's. When Bob retired, he had some time on his hands, and he started writing about the family dogs. And the rest, well, it's in the book. <laughs> we'll be right back after this.